Off we go! <sighs> Even better than I imagined! It's my lucky day! See that coming. Put our crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Devalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? 
If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. Uh, the wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the liar would be... Even Amber would never think of doing such a thing. If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Adventure time! Don't get frostbite. Dodge this! What's the hurry? Everybody stand back! Off we go! Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it, too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be 
fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now he attempts to deceive you once more. Our beetles. Let your wrath bester. Mondstadt has already turned its back on you. Hold on, you have me slain by them! No, listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master. <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic selling, watch the world tremble with fear. Devalin. Barbe! Venti, please, be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. No. We should make that Abyss Mage pay first. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalon at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds Temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. Returns. When your homeland returns to this world, we shall revel in its glory.